Aid Atlas is a platform that allows anyone to explore global development finance. The platform has data about financial support on a very wide range of sectors and objectives. In this video, we'll explore how to use the Aid Atlas platform so that you can get the data you need for the questions you want to answer. Specifically, we will look at how to include multiple recipient countries in your analysis. Why is this useful? If you're interested in the experiences of a single country, simply select the country from the drop-down list of recipients and the rest is easy. But if you're looking at a larger number of countries, how would you go about it to get the data you need? There are a number of steps to go through and you may have to do some manual processing of the raw data yourself. Let's look at the example of funding received to tackle climate change. Let's say we want to see what funding East African countries have received to help them tackle climate change. It might be interesting to compare the experiences of different countries in being able to get finance and what they've used it for. Step 1. Define your search. East Africa is a predefined recipient group on Aid Atlas, but it turns out the countries we want to include in our example don't quite match the countries grouped by Aid Atlas. So we need to download the data and do some analysis ourselves. Step two, choose the relevant data. First, we select the most relevant data set to download. We select Africa, since it definitely includes all of the countries we're interested in. Then use the search tool to filter the data for any other parameters you're interested in. For this example, we choose climate change total and a range of years that match our question. Let's say 2014 to 2018. With just a few clicks, we generate a detailed profile of funding for climate change in all African countries for these years. At the bottom of this page, we click on download the raw data and save the file. Step three, filter the data. Open the data file and then filter the recipient column to show only those countries we want to include in our analysis. Step four, ready for analysis. Once you've prepared the data set like this, you're now ready to do your own analysis. For example, we can create pivot tables to combine different data. Aid Atlas is a powerful service for accessing development finance data. We hope this helps you become familiar with Aid Atlas. If you have any feedback or questions, feel free to contact us. Good luck.